Hello everyone, my name is Cleo. Welcome to my channel. If you're not new, welcome back. This was a very spontaneous video. This week's video was gonna be what my thoughts are while losing weight or thoughts I've had while losing weight. But today and last night have been very trying, very anxiety induced. And when I get to this level and anxiety, that's when the binge monster starts to whisper. So I think me recording myself, holding myself accountable today can help me just keep myself in place. We're just gonna do what I eat in a day, trying to fight the binge monster. I'm starting off simple. So it is three eggs, spinach, and uh, plant-based cheese. I'm currently at work. Hopefully I can immerse myself in my work, find shit to do, because right now in my head, I'm just like, well, you know, you, you do technically have enough money to order food. You can order like Burger King's French toast sticks because those are so good. They actually remind me of daycare, funny enough. But that's not the point. I'm finishing my first meal. I have my giant jug of water. We're gonna focus on other things. So today, you all are gonna be holding me accountable as I fight this anxiety demon. <sighs> Hi, so it's only been 45 minutes. I did notice something. The feeling of food binging starts to slowly die down. I have this feeling of I need to spend money. I think that's also why I have like a bajillion wish list among all of my social media and all of my shopping sites. I feel like I need to consume in any form to release that anxiety. Whether I get that rush from eating a whole bunch of food or that rush from spending a whole bunch of money, like, it's like, it gets me off. But I have to remind myself when I'm food binging, one, that's you gaining weight again. You've lost so much weight already. Let's not do that. By the way, I've lost 54 pounds. Whoa. For spending money, you theoretically, actually, you really just can't use. You can't just assume that your next paycheck's gonna come and cover it. No. At this point, we're living paycheck to paycheck. Student loans are a bitch, and you need to remember this. And then that starts to bleed into spending money to relieve your anxiety. Because if you think about it, yeah, sure, you got all this new fun, cool stuff now. But guess what? That's gonna last for 2.5 seconds because you're gonna end up spending that money again, and the anxiety is gonna come back, and you're gonna have that feeling again. So I need to find other ways to cope. I'm still looking for a therapist. I thought I found one, it didn't work, and now I'm feeling anxious again finding one. I hate being anxious, I hate having anxiety. This shit sucks. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna watch My 600 Pound Life and then binge watch Modern Family. Maybe that's what I can do. I can binge watch shows. No, that's still a form of binging. You know, forget it. We're gonna figure this out. I will see you at second meal. <laughs> My bitch monster is yelling at me. The best way I can describe it for me, as soon as I get the thought to do it, I would just immediately do it. And anytime I try to fight the urge, it just feels like it's shaking me. The more I deny it. <sighs> but we're not letting it. We're learning self-control. So what we're gonna do today is my favorite chicken patty with pickles, but I also have grilled chicken patties. So what I'm gonna do is two grilled and then one breaded. We're still gonna try to be as healthy as possible while also trying to fill myself. Right now, I feel like I have to trick my body and my mind somehow because I'm at the point where I wanna cry. That's how bad my binging and my food addiction is. So. We're, we're gonna try this trick. <laughs> I have this and this. I don't think I'm gonna do this with pickles because I don't think it's gonna be that good. Um, so I have some Caesar dressing that I'm gonna dip it in, um, but this is what I'm gonna do pickles in. But I'm only doing one patty of this and two of these. Yeah, I know, I'm cooking it now. My grilled chicken's still cooking, but I am really hungry, so we're gonna start on this one. Hopefully my brain and body will think this is like a McChicken or something. It took my entire lunch break to cook this meat, but here it is. Hmm. It's good chicken. It's just kind of moist and dry at the same time. 
the binge monster is quieting down maybe it was just my hunger making it louder i don't know but i'm feeling good and i'm feeling good that i'm in control bless you see you at third meal two days later it took me two days to find my charger but we're back be transparent with you i partially caved into the binge monster the reason i say partially is because i bought a whole bunch of stuff i shouldn't have it wasn't a whole bunch it's maybe like four or five items for me in in my stage of my weight loss journey that is a bunch of food but as i was getting this stuff to binge on i was still it's not funny but when you've been dealing with this for as long as i have it's you gotta laugh a little. As I'm like picking stuff out to binge, I'm also looking at, well, you know, you want this, but maybe if you're gonna binge, like have this healthier option. One of the things that I got was ice cream sandwiches and I really wanted another kind, um, but these were half the calories. So there were mini ones and there were 60 calories each and I had four. So that's like 240 calories just for, mini ice cream sandwiches which is and some of you might think that's just bogus like i'm just not telling you all of it but you have to remember i'm still on trulicity i still can't eat that much with binging and food addiction you could overeat and continually stuff yourself you know until you want to vomit with trulicity of course the same thing can happen because it doesn't change your mentality it does stop your body a lot faster like it prevents you eating as much as you did before like you will physically get sick i've been looking for a therapist or a psychologist uh to really help me through this binge eating process i even talked to my doctor about it she said it's a good idea and i was telling her one of the weeks i was on the medication you know i still had that feeling to binge and a comment she made was well you know with the medication you can't binge she is only gonna have me on the medication for six months and take it off for two because she doesn't want me to be dependent on it and if i'm still having these thoughts and these feelings and these urges what's gonna happen within those two months sure it stops me from binging because i physically can't in those two months it's not gonna do that i'm just gonna keep eating because i didn't fix what's up here i only fixed you know my tummy my tummy big day okay sorry i will say though today is saturday so today is weigh-in day although i did have you know a really bad episode i still lost eight pounds this week so we know the medication's working yay I feel like I should be more excited and more joyous about this. Always that thought in the back of my mind, I'm gonna go backwards. And continually having that damn binge monster, you know, just there. I'm just scared it's never gonna end, so. That is the end of my video for this week. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye.